Hello, welcome back to Quesadilla Wizard. Today I want to show you Blue Sky. What is Blue Sky? Blue Sky is a micro blogging platform very similar to the artist formerly known as Twitter, but it doesn't have a lot of the annoying features of Twitter. For example, you don't get your posts repressed by adding tags or saying certain words. Um, I don't really think there is an algorithm. It's kind of similar to Tumblr. It's what you see is what the people you follow reblog and post. But there's a way to see something similar to a for you page. And I'll get into all of that. So to start off, here's my blue sky account. This is just my plain Jane everyday account. I get on here, I post about every day, some art or some random thing I say. Um, you have quite a bit of room in your description. You can have a banner, you can have an icon, and you have your replies tab, your media tab, your likes, feeds, which is something I'll get into, and lists, which I think Twitter has lists, but I never used them on Twitter because I didn't understand them. Anyway, um, a thing I really like about Blue Sky is it has a feature called Feeds. Feeds is similar to the Tracked Tags feature on Tumblr, if you use Tumblr. But if you subscribe to one of these feeds, it doesn't directly go into your homepage. And feeds are set up individually by people. Like, we'll go to the Planners and Journaling feed. Uh -oh. this is a little buggy. <laughs> um, but if we go to oh, about, it says, you know, what this feed is programmed to catch. So if somebody says journal in their skeet, which is what we call our posts because the maker of Blue Sky hates it. So of course we're going to do that. Um, you, it will show up in this feed. And sometimes a feed will only catch a certain hashtag and that's it. And sometimes the person who has made the feed will be like, oh, this feed will catch Hobonichi, journal, paper, notebook, moleskine, Lightstrom, etc., etc. Because those are all terms used in the pen and paper journaling community. But then there are other types of feeds that are useful to you. Like this feed is called My Bangers and it only spits out things from my own account. And these are my most popular posts in order, which I just think is really neat. Then there's something called the Gram, which will only show you posts from people you follow that feature a picture. So if you just want to look at art, then that's a great way to do it. And the way you get to a feed is when you scroll this, I have so many on here, so I have to scroll down a little. So here's how you discover feeds. Let's see, what's, we're gonna look for Dungeons and Dragons. And then here's our list of feeds. Like we have this one that has 90 users. Okay, there's only a few Dungeons and Dragons feeds on here. But anyway, we could go here and if we wanted to follow this feed, we would just go to, well, or rather, if we just wanted it saved and we would go to feeds, it would always be here at the very bottom. But if we want to go to pin to home, it will pop up on my sidebar down here. Well, we're going to unpin that and unsave that. And that's how you collect feeds. I have so many, like here's a Neopets and Grundos Cafe in one feed. 
And there's a little bitty community on here. That people talk to each other. Um, oh, popular with friends. This is... I don't exactly know how this one works. But, um... It doesn't go all the way back. I think it just posts stuff from, like, the past couple of days. And then they'll fall off. Um... But there are communities such as the Blue Sky Night Market, and um, if you go to About, it teaches it has a list of all the things you can put in your skeets to make it show up in the night market. And the night market is for people that sell crafts, that sell commissions. Um, it's pretty great. Ooh, I just had an idea. If we go to feeds, we say Spark Stream. Yes. Okay. Here is. A feed that just shows people posting they're going live. Like this one is from four minutes ago. This one is from an hour ago. And if you go to about, um, it just looks for art stream. So that's a great way to get your, um, I'm going to actually pin this one to home because I might want to go shopping for commissions later. Um, so that's kind of the basics. Oh, we got to do lists. Lists is just an extra feed of people curated. Like I picked cool tar artists and I only have one person in here right now, but oh, that's so cute. Oh, oh no, they're sick. Bless. Um, you could have multi, I, I love centaurs. Um, if you haven't noticed by one of my recent art updates on YouTube, but that's how that works. And you can order get organize them in there. So it's kind of like feeds, but just the specific people you pick and you go into notifications and it's similar to Twitter. Like this site is very, very much just like it's Twitter, but less shitty. Um, one thing about Blue Sky is our, if you see all these hashtags, you can't click on them because they're not like interactive. I think the feature is coming. We don't have video posts. We do not have GIFs. Um, but I think that's okay. Let's see if we put a hashtag, um, dragons. Okay. Now this is just searching for people. Okay, that's, yeah, that's just to find users. Um, feeds is the best way. If you want to look for a subject, say dragons. Dungeons and dragons. Dragons of blue sky. It's still a pretty small community. We're growing by the day, but I just think it's really nice. People talk to me over here. My art gets seen. Like, I can go back to my bangers and, like... I'm getting like 57, 100 and something, which is incredible compared to what my art would see on Twitter, which would be like five notes. So that's Blue Sky. Blue Sky is accessible by invite key, but I have five invite codes on this account. And then I have five invite codes on my adult account that I can give out to people if you want to join Blue Sky. This has just been a short little video of just something that I use and that I'm interested in and excited about. Um, I hope I didn't forget anything. But yeah, you can post links. Um, there's no algorithm. You can post tags to shit. You can say like commission. Um, it doesn't punish you the way Twitter does. It's just really nice. It's just a nice little place to be. And like, oh, the moderation. So there's content filtering. So this is all the modes. So there is porn on Blue Sky, but you can choose to warn for it or hide it or just show it if you just, you know, whatever, if that's what you're into, you don't care. Um, you can set your age. Oh, that's not my age. <laughs> I'll, I'll mess with that later. But, um, 
it detects spam, impersonation, all kinds of stuff. So there's different levels that you can pick from. And if you have a linked account, you can connect them and it's just, you swap between them, you just like click a button. Oh, and another thing is, one thing people really like on Blue Sky is to be inclusive for visually impaired users. So if you click this little button here, um, it will prompt you to describe the image that you're uploading. Like if I were to upload this dragon picture, I would click Alt and then describe it to the best of my ability. You know, you don't have to go all in detail, but like enough that people will know what the image is. And just to be helpful, I started this habit over on um, Mastodon, the Mastodon instance that I'm in. Um, yeah, discard that. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. If you want a blue sky code, just let me know. And um, I'll t I have 10 that I can give out for absolutely free. And I'll have more in the coming weeks. I think you get one every week or every two weeks. I, I don't know. I just see this little number go up at the bottom. Um, but thank you so much for watching and listening to me for a few minutes. I hope you join Blue Sky and have a really great time. I'll see you later.